Hello friends, welcome back to the Dynamo. Okay, as the title says, I want to get into regional subdivisions today. Now, I covered this in another video earlier, but I want to go into more detail because it can get kind of complicated as the, the further into you get, it can get really complicated. Now, how you would usually see it, um, let me let me open up this for you. So um, I'm, I'm going to get rid of my camera just so that I can kind of walk you through this for a second here. Okay. So what I want to walk what I want to walk you through is the idea of setting up a three tier competition that has regional divisions and how you would mimic having a subdivision within a subdivision. So you have your top division, then you have your second division which will be called middle but will have a south division and an east division and then you have your third level which will just be called bottom which will have three divisions but I want to find a way to get it to mimic this being a subdivision within that bottom subdivision. <clears throat> so basically how you would do that would be so I have this I have this set up just because like you know how to set up competitions you know how to set parent competitions the parent competitions are important I've essentially gotten all of those different things because like you have your top south east south one east one uh, a b one uh, b so you have your east one a one b south one bottom east south all set to their parent competitions <clears throat> So you do here go to your divisions add single division as normal because you're recreating that top stage so um uh, two relegations doesn't really matter two now this you'll have your subdivision open that up it's the middle one and then select your two so it'll be east and south again same thing here you on two promotion we'll say uh, actually no leave leave the relegation empty because we're going to get into that in detail in a while match day saturday yep yeah. okay so then for your bottom you have your subdivisions create your bottom and then one two three <coughs> east one a east one b south one okay round two seven zero zero that's fine okay so between the top and the middle, you don't really have to do a huge amount. You have your two divisions or you have your two relegations. We'll go into middle first of all. You have your two promotion places. Leave this blank. Leave your relegations blank. So you go into your subdivisions themselves. East. So division for promoted. You want to type in here. Uh, nation. I-R-E-L-A-N-D. Uh, now one thing that's going to help me is I've selected every competition in the actual game uh, in Ireland to be extinct. So if I just click no, it's only going to show me the ones that I want to see here. So I'm looking for this would be promotion to, what is it, top, yes. Okay, and then relegation, because it's east and east is going to go into east 1A and east 1B, I'm going to tell this to go to bottom. So you'll see how this works, where it's here, search, um, nation, T, go to bottom. So when this is relegating teams, number of relegation places two, it is going to pull them into that bottom, uh, rele it's going to relegate them into that bottom division, which is a subdivision. So it's going to have three divisions to choose from. So it's going to try put those two teams into those three divisions. Now, we're going to try force it to put those teams into particular leagues. And how we'll do that is you take out of here, you go into south. The so division for promoted team will be top. Now, you go in here, south to south one. Two relegations. So basically. So how this works is you've got your east and you've got your south. This is going to relegate, east is going to relegate two teams. South is going to relegate two teams. So you've got four teams relegated in total. And you've got three divisions underneath it. So you've got four teams going into three leagues. But because you've told one of these leagues to relegate directly into one league. And we're going to set that south one to promote two teams into that south league. You end up with uh, east relegating into three leagues. But one of those leagues has already been allocated its promotion relegation slots. So in practice it only has two leagues to go into. So this will be relegating east, will be relegating into the bottom, but it'll only be able to relegate into east one, east two, uh, east one A and east one B. That's important. So let's flesh this out. This is going to this is going to promote into south, and it's not going to relegate anywhere. East one B is going to promote into um, east, 
and east one A is going to is going to promote into east. <clears throat> so you're telling east one A and east one B to both promote into east. That way they won't um, allocate teams into south. So you have east one A and east one B promoting into they're promoting their two teams into east, and you have south one promoting their two teams into south. So you're trying to kind of like corral the leagues into funneling their promotions and relegations into certain perspectives to try force it into this sort of a setup because you have that south directly relegating into south one and you have south one directly promoting into south so you end up with this essentially is what bottom is bottom essentially when you sell something when you tell any of these teams to relegate into bottom you're essentially telling them to relegate here because this is already taken care of that is the important thing to remember about these things. You want to try corral and caress as much as possible. So let's just test rules. Uh, yeah, so middle I need to do correctly. Um, so, what is this? I'm getting lost now. Okay, no. So I'm gonna go, yes, middle, east. Okay, so I want to the south. Okay, so they have, where does that come from? Okay, so. These subdivisions probably aren't... Yep, they're not promoting anything. Okay, so you want East 1 to have one promotion slot, East B to have one promotion slot. South 1 to have two promotion slots. Okay, so now this should check out okay. Okay, so that's perfect. So now you've told the leagues to relegate and promote into certain perspectives. How you guarantee this is then go into clubs and I'm going to show you a very powerful thing within the club setting setups themselves so Ireland is normal so I've got these relegated into top east south blah blah whatever and how I've done this is through local regions I've told it south is Munster because Munster's in the south so this is going to go top south south one so if I take all of these go into edit uh, competition regional divisions I've already this set up so I'm gonna do it again for you now the game will usually have those regional divisions already set up for how the competition in the base game has it set up if you want to edit all of these individually because like Pike Rovers is in Limerick College Corinthian Cork uh, College Corinthians is in Cork so they're going to have different uh, settings so if you highlight them all it'll show you nothing I've showed you this before how you get rid of that is add when this pops up then clear Clear just gets rid of everything. So now everything in all 17 selected here have been cleared. We're going to put in two because we have two regional divisions and the levels allow you to kind of like define that when that club gets relegated, where do you want to be relegated in based off of a regional characteristic? So level two, level three. The level two region is south. The level three region is south one. And you will do that for the other one I have is Leinster. Leinster, here we go. So top down to East 1 and East B. Now, because East 1B and East 1A are both the same regional level, I have region level 3, region level 3, East 1A and 1B. So that's me telling the game that when they are relegated along regional subdivision lines, I want both of these to be equivalent as a league stage. I want them, I want the game to treat both of these as relegation candidates. So you go into rules, test rules, that'll do fine. You can run the game this way, but if you want more control, convert to advanced rules. You'll go into, say, um, yeah, go into middle, child competition, general. If you select this, um, this will just show you the competition, but it'll be blank and empty because we don't have any um, promotion playoffs or anything like that. So you've got your child competitions. This is a handy one. I'll over whether or not to use reg regional division should be used for child competition allocations. For the allocations, basically it's when it's trying to populate a league after the relegation and the promotions, it's going to pull from qualified teams. A, like a qualified team can be a relegated team because if you're relegated from the Barclays Premier League, you're qualified for the championship. That's kind of how that works. So it's going to determine what goes where based off of regional uh, characteristics. You can select this one if you don't want it to do that. If you don't want it to reorganize competitions based off of that regional characteristic. I want it to do that, so I'm going to unselect that. Now, how does it reorganize those? When you go into a club, go into club, we're going to take FC Carlo. 
So FC Carlo has Bunkladi set. That can be that can be misleading. You go into Stadium General Cardiff Development Centre, and it is the city of the stadium. Going to Bunkladi, it's got a local region of Leinster set. So it's going to um, this um, FC Carlo under that advanced rule setting of reorganise into regional based child competitions it is going to try to regionalize it into a leinster region because of the city its stadium is in and that city has a regional characteristic attached to it you can edit that if you go into cities uh nation ireland you've got all your cities they've got a, a local region like uh, like whenever i'm doing a united ireland database one of the things that i like to do is go into northern northern ireland i'll Control all, edit, uh, details, local region, and I literally just change that to Ulster. Um, so that way it um, confines everything into that uh, provincial region because um, the way Northern Ireland is set up with its local regions is that it has the six counties. It's got um, like Armagh, Fermanagh, all those different things. Um, I think Fermanagh's in the Republic, I don't remember actually. But basically, that's how that works. And then you have some specialization that this allows you to do some things. Um, for instance, like regional cup competitions, which is what the next video will be about, is that if you want to be able to do a cup competition, pulling from specific regions in a certain place. Like, for instance, if you want to do a, like, um, say, say if you're doing the Barclays Premier League and you want to do, like, a, um, I can't think of any of the provinces, like, say, Yorkshire. Um, I think that's uh, a county, I'm not sure. But if you want to do, like, a Yorkshire cup, you can have it pulling from teams only in Yorkshire. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the next one. So, yeah, that is regional divisions and how to set up regional divisions and make sure that the competition pulls from those regional divisions. Um, it is very powerful. It's a great way to kind of like organize your lower divisions. Like once you get into your like your tier fives, your tier sixes, tier sevens, most national leagues will break up into almost like local divisions. Like I think, I think tier five in Ireland, it's not in the, the pyramid, so you can't promote all the way through, but it's broken up into like Waterford, Cork, Limerick, um, Kerry, Tipperary divisions. So you end up having like six or seven different uh, kind of like localizations within a fairly small provincial localization that eventually gets into that national level. So um, have fun with that if you want to get into your editor database and you really want to just like customize and get like, like I'd imagine the United States, you could have like an East Coast cup that'll pull from certain regions, but th that's how you do that. It's a lot of fun. Happy trucking. Um, happy editor, my friends. Have a good one.